So I recently got an HD60X Elgato capture card, and all I can say is, it's gonna be worth the money that you spend on it. Yes, I've had ups and downs with it during setup, but all that has been ironed out. If you take a look at my channel, I have done 6 test runs on this capture card, and the results were great. Behind the scenes though, it wasn't pleasant when I first got it. So here's how I did the setup when I first got the HD60X. I have a laptop with one HDMI port, and I have a monitor with one HDMI port. So this is obviously an issue if I wanted to play on the monitor because I need to use the HDMI port on the laptop for the capture card. Sure I can play on the laptop, but it's not very convenient for me because I always use the monitor. So if you ever encounter this situation, you'll need to use an HDMI splitter so both can be played simultaneously. So I did just that and now I can play on the monitor. Now here are a few things that I can tell you just in case if you have issues. For the USB port for the HD60X, you must connect it to the source of your computer or laptop. Do not connect it to a hub or an adapter, otherwise the capture card won't work. I've also dealt with encoder issues during recording. Just change it to the X264 and it should be fine. And I've been dealing with some screen freeze issues during recording, roughly around the 30 minute mark. And it really upset me. So to solve this, if you aren't recording on OBS, try out OBS. That worked for me, because most likely whatever recording software you're using, it's most likely not power efficient friendly than OBS. Now when it comes to the capture card that you quote unquote need to use the Elgato software, it's not a requirement. If you are using a recording software and it has a video capture device option, you can just use that. So my little review on the Elgato HD60X, if you want to record or livestream your console games, I'd say get it. It's about 180 USD on Amazon, but I got it on sale for 160. Obviously it's not a lot, but waiting for a sale is an option. For the quality, it looks identical from what's being played on the console. I don't think you would have any problems with the quality of the capture card. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go. Bye.